Hello there, thanks so much for tuning in. So my name's Tim, this is My Carbon Coach, channel all about allotment life, eco living, all of that good stuff. And I've been a very bad allotmenteer. <laughs> um, so it's been a, been a while, as some of you might be aware, I've been away doing uni work, uh, wrote about 10,000 to 12,000 words and got a project done. So uni is out of the way now, which is fantastic. What it does mean is I've got five weeks of neglect and I'm basically surrounded by crazy growth. So the plan of action today is to try and chop some sense into this major strimming session, weeding, all of that kind of good stuff. It is just overgrown everywhere. Behind me, we've got uh, onions and garlic that are doing wonderfully, but they're just about to, to bolt possibly and go into bloom. So I need to dig those up ASAP. Just weeds everywhere, long grass, and yeah, basically all of the hard work and sort of making it look really, really spot on has disappeared a little bit. No doubt I'll easily be able to rescue it and it'll make a fun video <laughs> at least, so there is that. So we're just going to dive straight into it and yeah, enjoy watching me recover my allotment plot. Okay, so it's just started raining a little bit, nothing too serious, but enough for me to bring the camera into the shed. And now's as good a time as anyway for a bit of a drink break. Have a, have a drink and chill, and yeah, just take stock of the progress. So, the wildflower bed has been, had a reasonable amount of the grass taken out of it. We've got one lone poppy there. And yeah, done the pathway leading up to the shed and a bit along the top edge there. And as you just saw, I just started my way, making my way along the beds of herbs. So I'm halfway through that. There were some monsters in there to be fair. So yeah, just gonna, just gonna take it easy and then we'll probably get on with the rest. I really wanna see how far I can get. I think I might finish doing the herbs and then go round here and just take care of the, the lawn and the bench so that at least when it stops raining, I've got somewhere to sit outside rather than hanging out in my shed. I feel like that's as much as I'm going to get done today as, as possible really. A um, bit of a shame that it rained for an, uh, like half an hour, 45 minutes, so that put a bit of a <laughs> put an actual dampener on things. But yeah, got the lawn trimmed. I got all the way around to the edge of the onion and garlic bed done and got all the herb beds done. And there's some absolutely beautiful flowering. The thymes are really coming out in sort of like their pinks and lilacs, which is fantastic. And yeah, there are some really nice bits here, despite it not being quite as bright and colorful as it was last year. Anyway, um, this is gonna be another video uh, where I dig out the onions and garlic and take a look and sort of learn and teach myself and maybe impart a bit of knowledge to any of you that were thinking of sort of growing onions or garlics. But just for the fun of it, I just wanted to, um, yeah, pull one out because yeah, I'm gonna take it home and figure out exactly what to do. So let's get this one out, the nearest one. And that is absolutely beautiful, lovely gorgeous homegrown um, onion, white onion. Um, so that was a Japanese tough ball variety. But yeah, the, the, the middle stem is quite solid and it's starting to, to get a little bit of a, a bud on the end for flowering or seeding or whatever the correct terminology is. You know me, I'm not particularly down with the, with the actual correct things to, 
to say about stuff. But yeah, I'm going to take that home and figure out exactly what to do with it. I did pull out one of my garlics earlier. I've got it in my bag. I'll just quickly grab that. There we go. So yeah, I've got a, a garlic. I can't remember which one this was because I didn't name the actual beds. It's a little bit soggy. So yeah, I presume I hang it or hang it so that it dries out and gets that lovely papery skin, but you can already see just how beautiful those purple colors are on it. Hopefully it's focusing on that. But yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to have a whole load of garlic. Uh, friends, be warned, you're gonna have some garlic coming your way. I've got a shed load. And then finally, just down here, I've got red onions. Some of them have grown and are doing really well. Some of them are looking really small, like they just haven't developed. But this one here, it had, again, one of those, <laughs> nearly falling into the bed, one of those seed pods on the top of it. And yeah, little dinky, gorgeous red onion. Looks a little bit less round than it, than it maybe should. But yeah, I'm really chuffed with that as well. So I'm going to leave probably the rest of the, the red onions to do their thing. So that is something that's coming up in an upcoming video, garlic, onions, onions. Um, but yeah, I'm going to research that this week. Anyway, um, yeah, to wrap up the video, there's nothing left to say really other than thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to support me, uh, then you can hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment. They're all three ways that really help the channel to grow. And yeah, thank you very much in my absence for everyone that has continued watching, liking, subscribing. Um, if you did want to support me, in a monetary way, then I have a Patreon, um, which is a way that you can support my carbon coach in doing everything that I'm doing, like these lovely people have just here. So eternally grateful for everyone that checks that out, whether you do take up that option or not. Because I now don't have any university, yes, um, I am going to be endeavouring to get you a video at least once a week. So it will be every single Monday evening at 6pm and there's a small chance I might do some bonus videos for Thursdays, maybe I was thinking, as and when, just sort of more on an ad hoc basis. But I'm going to try and get Mondays to be primarily allotment based videos and maybe the Thursdays are going to be things like the eco book club or litter picking videos and stuff like that just extra bonuses so it's not getting in the way of your actual regular allotment content so that those of you that have subbed just to see how I'm getting on <laughs> with my allotment adventures can kind of like see that and everyone that sort of wants that extra bonus will just get something extra instead of instead of. Anyway, I've waffled on for way too long. It's really exciting being back in front of a camera and chatting to you. I've really missed it. And yeah, thank you very much. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of your plots and have a fantastic week. Catch you soon. Cheers, everyone.